Hey everybody, Lance Koike here. Today I want to discuss the lats in the pull-up. Okay, so, so we're on the, the same term. The pull-up is the overhand version of the chin-up, right? Chin-up is underhand, pull-up is overhand. And I want to talk about both the pull-up and the chin-up, but we'll do the chin-up in a separate video because they are a little bit different. The lat is, is different here. So in the pull-up, in the vertical pull, that's like the the monster lat builder there because when my when I get this vertical movement here I'm putting a lot of the torque I'm amplifying the torque that's put on the lats and so um, I can train those I can stress those muscles a lot further um, case in point like if I uh, if I think about doing a pull up not on a straight bar but like with with my hands somewhere and my head has a slot that it can go up in so I can keep my arms right down by my side we actually see a little bit more lat activation pure lat activation when you're right in line with that um, that plane that goes through your body right when it's kind of like this jumping jack motion um, so if I want to stress the lats primarily I want to make sure that my elbows are staying as out as I can keep them, as long as it doesn't start to mess up what my shoulders are doing during this pulling motion. Um, now the lat is my primary mover in the pull-up, so that's what's moving my humerus, my shoulder bone, or my upper arm bone, down as I do my pulling. Now there are other upper back muscles, there is um, shoulder blade motion that needs to occur for all of this stuff to be kind of optimal, not just in technique, but in muscle activation. We'll talk about those a little bit later, but we're talking about the lats today. So, <coughs> sorry, a little bit sick. Uh, I pull down as I come down here and I get this shortening. Now, when I do this pulling motion, I'm going to have this tendency to want to stick my butt out a little bit more and stick my chest out a little bit more and I would caution you because I think you will feel your lat slightly more when you do it that way and a little bit of this chest out is um, is required is necessary for you to do the pull up and actually use the right muscles but if you get too much or you get this hyper extension of your back um, you're going to start increasing the compression that you feel in your low back and in your uh, SI joint, your upper butt area. And I would just, you know, I would caution you, I do not recommend it. Even if you do feel your lat more, it's probably not what you're trying to do long term, right? It doesn't support a long term training mindset. And that's that's what we're doing here, right? We, we need options so that we can train for longer. Uh, that's pretty much it. I don't want to talk too much about this because uh, though the lats are important, they're uh, pretty simple here. So the lats bring the arms down. Um, you get a little bit more if you're in that uh, frontal plane of your body. Anatomy terms, start studying. Um, and I can get a little bit more because I'm in that frontal plane with this overhand grip in the pull-up. That's kind of the main difference between the pull-up and the chin-up. And uh, tomorrow we'll talk about the chin-up.